Hey there, today we are going to see a digital multimeter which is from HTC brand and I ordered it from robo.in. So you can see this is how it's packed. This is the HTC brand and this is the model number. So let's see what we get inside this. This is the brochure of HTC and this is the warranty card and we get here user manual we get a temperature probe triple a batteries test leads and absolutely a multimeter so let's just open it and have a closer look it looks something like this and this is the temperature probe and it looks something like this also the test leads are above average not the highest quality but it's above the average high quality leads look something like this which i got in past so let's just insert the batteries inside the multimeter so we need to remove the screw also i would like to remove the silicon case to see the quality of the multimeter and it really looks good also you can see the back panel is in single piece the stand and back panel is in single piece so you can insert the battery like this and let's just install the back cover and insert the screw back you can see the quality of silicon cover also this cover has two ports for holding test leads so now let's compare HTC DM83T with Unity Mass 830L so first of all you will see here the difference between the clicking noise of rotary switch so this looks awesome and this doesn't so now the weight of HTC multimeter is heavy and unity multimeter is light. So now we will test DC voltage of batteries. So we have set it in DC voltage and it's in auto range. So here are the some batteries which we will test. So let's use 18650 and measure the voltage it shows 3.67 let's measure again and it's 3.67 now let's go to the unity multimeter and probably it will show wrong reading because i am familiar with it so let's see what's the difference and it's showing 3.6061 so it's off by 0.5 volts so that's the issue that's why i ordered new multimeter so now let's see another coin cell we will test the voltage of this and this shows 3.38 and there are no fluctuation in showing voltages and now let's see and it shows 3.32 so it's also off by 0.4 volts and also on in common these both multimeters have backlight for their displays the unity this multimeter has blue light while htc meter has white light but you can see the blue light is getting dimmer and dimmer because by default it's using capacitive dimmer circuit in which as the capacitor discharge the led gets dimmer and dimmer but in this case there is transistor switching so there is no 
dimming of the light and also we get external LED light to work in low light conditions. You can turn on and off using select button and this is the hold button which works as backlight button also. You can see so there are only two buttons and they have four functions or in this and in this there is separate hold button you can see this so this is how it works so now let's go to ncb mode which means non contact voltage detection so for example you can see this is the wire going to my lab bench power supply i will turn it on and watch the meter We can see how it reacts to the voltage passing through the wire. So here is another example. Currently the soldering iron is off. Now I will turn it on. And you can see as it gets closer and closer the more it beeps. So it's very useful in many conditions. Now let's see the temperature readings. So you can see the 33 and 34 degrees Celsius which is actually my room temperature. As I haven't used any probe here so it will show default temperature of my room. So let's just insert the temperature probe to measure the reading. So what I will do is I will keep the sensor in my fingers so it will measure my body temperature. You can see it's slowly rising and it reaches to 37 degrees Celsius. For faster reading we will use hot air gun whose temperature is set to 150 degree and you can see the temperature rise. Let's see how accurate these temperature readings are shown. And you can see it shows accurate reading. So this is all about this video. Hope you like this video and this multimeter too. Write down in the comment section your thoughts about this. And if you have any query let me know in the comment section. Do like, share, subscribe the channel for more subscribers.